the Palestinians deserve a state of their own. On that score, there is no disagreement. Just not one that's indistinguishable from an open-air prison, and therefore just not one with Israelis as neighbors. With this as our guiding principle, we implemented a plan we called Design Palestine, wherein we solicited opinions from all Palestinians wherever they were to be found. They numbered only about 10 million worldwide. We asked them where they would like to live, in a village, town, or city, and what they'd like around them, what amenities they'd like, and so on. After tabulating the responses, we put the results out for an international design competition. And with the services of Bechtel Engineering and the Imagineers from Disney, designed for them a new country. Bin Laden Construction and Halliburton, experienced as they are in these areas, teamed up to do the building on land graciously donated by the UMA, coastal land, a bit larger than the historical Palestine and with a bit of mineral wealth, I might add. And we gave the resulting fully customized nation with all the infrastructure, all the mod cons to the Palestinians at a modest price and with affordable interest rates. Why we even went so far as to recreate old Jerusalem including the Dome of the Rock and the Al-Aqsa Mosque, which were taken apart block by block and reassembled on site. It was a remarkable feat, both in terms of logistics and international cooperation, and it's working out quite well, if you'd like to know. And Design Palestine was only the beginning. Nation building? Oh, yes, we do. <laughs>